my loves, I'm Alisa. Welcome to the Shameless Academy, where we bridge the gap between sexuality and spirituality, and we answer some of our deepest questions with love. In this week's episode, guys, I want to share with you five great ways in which you can help your woman open up and become more shameless in bed. Because I've never met a man in my whole life who doesn't like when a woman opens up and explores and expresses her sexuality without shame. However, because I've met guys who didn't know how to react to a woman's openness, in this episode I will also share with you some ways in which you can help your woman not only act shamelessly, but to really feel comfortable with it. So first, let's take a look to the five main factors that make a woman hold back from being naughty with you. The first one is obviously having body image issues. And I say obviously because the social pressure upon how a woman's body should look, it's huge, guys. It's huge. And in my opinion, no woman should ever be judged if she feels less worthy of admiration due to how her body looks in that very moment. Because you never know, you never know what women she's surrounded with, what she's been through, what are her own standards of beauty. The only thing and the best thing that you can do is support her in rediscovering her own beauty and use it shamelessly and preferably with you. So here comes my first tip for you. Never tell a woman how to feel about her body, but always tell a woman how you feel about her body. Once again, never tell a woman how to feel about her body, always tell a woman how you feel about her body. Oh, that's so much magic in this and I'm gonna tell you why. A woman needs to be complimented complimented. Some women usually fake their confidence so well that you don't even know if she's got body image issues or not. So the best way to do it is to always compliment women. Always tell them how beautiful they are to you. Admire them and do it loud, baby. Do it loud. Speak up your mind. Be specific. Talk dirty to her. Tell her how amazing you feel when you see her ask. How her nipples taste. Tell her everything that you really think about because a woman, a woman rejuvenates with your words. So help her feel shamelessly in her body because when you do that, you give her permission to live her fantasies with you. Isn't this tempting? Very tempting. It's, this is very tempting. It tempts me to do this now. <laughs> the second factor that makes a woman hold back in bed when she's with you is her upbringing and her beliefs about sexuality, intimacy, pleasure, connection, togetherness, love. And if this is the case, I challenge you to have an open talk with her, preferably in a cozy place. Get her in bed and start talking with her about both of your childhoods. What happened there? Be open with your own experience. What happened with you? What have you been taught in your childhood about sex, about relationships? Ask questions. Find out where she comes from. Observe the differences between the two of you. Encourage her to open up and if she's down for it, Start together a whole new chapter in your life. Ask her to join you on a challenge of getting rid of those old limiting beliefs around sex by replacing them with new empowering ones, tantric ones, okay? The third factor that holds a woman back from acting shamelessly in bed with you is, and that's a crazy one, guys, men with double standards. Exactly, you heard me well. It's men with double standards. Well, let me tell you that I've met women who are reluctant in expressing their sexuality with their partners now because they've had some crazy experiences in the past with other men whom, as a result of their openness, they started to call them whores or tag them as being cheap. Can you imagine this? I met women who were afraid that their partners will respect them less if they fully express their sexuality. 
So if you feel that your woman is actually shameless, but she's hiding her shamelessness, make sure to reassure her how much you love to see a woman who delights in her own sexuality, how much you admire and support women who express themselves shamelessly and explore and be all that they are here to be. Let her know this. The fourth factor that holds a woman back from being shameless and bad with you is a delicious one. And it's called the lack of experience. Exactly, the lack of experience. And let me tell you why it's delicious. Think about this. None of us knew how good chocolate is until we were handled the bar. So here's my challenge for you. Be the one who handles her the bar. Teach her how to use the bar. Teach her how to use the bar. Teach her how to use the bar. Now, if you ask me, my love, I feel that this is one of the most pleasant situations in which you can find yourself as a man. To be the one who teaches a woman the magical art of letting go, surrendering, becoming one with pleasure, exploring herself shamelessly. And yet, a lot of men run from this because they feel it's too much of a responsibility to do it. Or they rush in doing it and they fail in doing it with class. And you don't want to be one of them, right? So my tip for you here is don't be one of them. Don't be one of them. Be slow, be gentle, be firm, be raw. Teach her about the dance between feminine and masculine, about leading and about surrendering. Teach her about contrast. The secret of a fully satisfying intimate life is loving contrast. Loving contrast. Contrast of taste, contrast of status, contrast of emotion. Everything contrasting. That's life. And last but not least, my loves, the fifth factor that makes a woman hold back in bed is her personality. Exactly, her personality. Because the truth is that some of us were born more shy than others. And there is nothing to be healed about this. There is nothing to be changed about this. There are a lot of men who feel enticed by this in a woman. They find it feminine and elegant. And they love seeing her blushing and acting like a virgin. Although she's not. So at the end of the day, as you can see, my loves, it's all about preferences. And if she is not willing to change, if she's resistant to change, leave her the way she is in her own uniqueness and go out and find someone who makes you feel alive and aligned with your own truth. This being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and also found value in it. And if you did, make sure to let me know in the comments below and also pop down below what other questions you'd love me to answer in my next episodes with The Shameless Academy. If you want more of me, make sure to check out my YouTube channel, The Shameless Academy, and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook for daily hot tips. And nonetheless, if you're ready to become the best lover you can, book a coaching session with me below. Until next time, stay shameless, my loves, and do your woman right. Exactly, do her right.